Our church was burned down in front of us, and then there was gunshots everywhere, so we were scared. Uh, first, we never knew that the situation could get uh, worse, so we thought it will. Um, and the dean has ensured each one of us that everything will be fine, and uh, so we thought things will get better. But with times, uh, we realized that things, situations start uh, started to get worse. We got the information late, so we thought the situation will government will control it, and the situation will calm down. But it seems it went out of control, so. We, after that, we started contacting our government. For the last two to three days, we've been keep, uh, kept in the, you know, suspense with all these dramas and this and that, with all rumors sometimes. 676 people, including students and families affected by violent incidents in Manipur, returned to Nagaland on Sunday. 22 buses along with state police force and Assam rifles were deployed for their evacuation. During a short welcome ceremony that was held at Inspector General of Assam Rifles North Headquarters in Kohima, Deputy Chief Minister Yanthungo Patton informed that 650 persons are yet to be evacuated. Is there any message for those still stranded in Imphal, Manipur? No. I want to appeal to them that uh, from by tomorrow we are going to send uh, buses to bring them. So I want to request them to be patient. Yeah. So how many will you be deploying? Uh, we will not deploy uh, more buses because of the situation. So tomorrow we are going to send 14. Next 14, like that we will send. Till we evacuate all the uh, settlers of, in Manipur, we are going to send buses. There were tears of joy when the families were reunited and emotional scenes unfolded as the stranded persons deboarded the buses. They started protesting for, for tri tribal solidarity march on that tree. So we thought it was just a, for a peaceful protest, but uh, it, it, it turned out violent. No? And then we got the information late. So we thought the situation will, government will control it and the situation will calm down, but it seems it went out of control. So we, after that, we started contacting our government. And then uh, the, soon the state government imposed the curfew, so we couldn't move out. So we were stuck inside the campus, but at the same time, our church was burned down no? in front of us. No? And then there was uh, gunshots everywhere, so we were scared. And then we contacted the government and then uh, hopefully the government responded and then right now uh, through through the uh, this Assam rifles and Nagaland police na, we are back here uh, safe to Nagaland. Na. Uh, first we never knew that the situation could get uh, worse so we thought it will um, and the dean has ensured each one of us that everything will be fine and uh, so we thought things will get better but with times uh, we realized that things situations start uh, started to get worse and uh, even at night we will hear some bombardings and uh, the tear gases that has been uh, going on uh, outside our rooms campus and uh, uh, for the students uh, we are safe inside the campus because of the security but when we hear of those sounds we will just panic <laughs> so um, a lot of fear and stress uh, like among our friends actually I was personally I was stranded in uh, Bishnupur away from Imphal so I'm very thankful for the uh, state government, for the uh, the principal director of health and family welfare. They personally contacted us and uh, contacted the RIMS authorities to uh, to evacuate us from the uh, uh, from the district hospital where we were posted. Uh, my daughter is studying in the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, and uh, day before yesterday we came to know about the situation in Imphal and as parents we, I've been really worried and concerned about the first thing that came to my mind is the safety of our children there starting there and also our people have been stranded because of the situation and through the media we came to know that uh, some people have lost their lives and uh, many houses including that so many churches have been burned down and many people have been uh, 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 have been the injured and we we also heard that, that there are so many people have been injured and then we 
uh, very worried about the situation. For the last two to three days, we've been keep, uh, kept in the, you know, suspense. With all these dramas and this and that, with all rumors sometimes, I sometimes used to scold my missus not to spread this and that because of the rumors until unless we get some actual news of, from the distant and that. So like that, for the last two days, we've been struggling. And of course, sometimes I feel bad also. I have been, you know, I conveyed some messages to some of my friends in CMO's office also that why all this delayed and this thing and all. But somehow, I, now I have to thank our government and all these uh, paramedicals and this thing and all the departments involved bringing my, our children and our people back to our homeland. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.